What was your favorite moment from my big fat Greek wedding? We know, we know, it's hard to pick just one. And we're about to get even more when my big fat Greek wedding 3 hits the big screen on September 8th. So, what's the cast been up to since filming the original? And who's returning for the third installment? We've got all the details. We have Nia Vardalos to thank for the iconic film franchise that my big fat Greek wedding has become. And not just because she played Dula Portocolo so well. When Nia first set out to be an actor, she faced discrimination and struggled to find her niche. She was rejected by the first agent she got in contact with. I got had ag agents telling me to leave Hollywood. In part because of her Greek heritage. I was uncastable, that I was some sort of gargoyle hanging off the side of a building. In her frustration, Nia decided to write her own part for herself that fit her to a T. The best way to do that? Borrow from her own life. Nia wrote down funny moments she experienced with her big Greek family, and she put them together to create her one-woman show, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And yes, much of the show was based on her real-life wedding. It could be, what lays ahead? More like I'm probably thinking, here's the thought bubble. How can I make some money off this wedding? The show took off, and celeb couple Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson saw it and became interested in helping Nia turn her show into a movie. The rest is history, and after the first film's success, Nia went on to write, produce, and star in My Big Fat Greek Wedding, too, 14 years later. And according to her, no. The wait is entirely my fault. I ha wanted to wait until motherhood. While she may have taken some time to have a baby, she still went on to write other screenplays and appear in many TV series. She made another film based on her Greek heritage, My Life in Ruins. Hello, I'm Georgia. Welcome to Greece. I'm your tour guide. She also wrote, produced, and starred in the short-lived TV series, My Big Fat Greek Life, based on her famous film. We're Greek, and he's what we call a non-Greek. She'll do the same for the highly anticipated My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. We're going to Greece. Oh, yeah. We all know and love John Corbett, who played Ian Miller, Tula's non-Greek hubby-to-be in My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Corbett was famously playing Aiden Shaw in Sex and the City when the movie premiered. His characters even famously got down on one knee for two beloved leading ladies, Tula and Carrie Bradshaw. I've asked quite a few women to get married this year in the, in the movies and TV. Finally, one said yes. He went on to act in shows including Parenthood, Sex and Drugs, and Rock and Roll, and Rebel. Kind of like the old days, you were fierce if I looked at anybody else. These days, he's appearing in reboots, and just like that, where he's reuniting with another on-screen lost love, Carrie Bradshaw. This would ever happen. As well as How I Met Your Father. Now it's ready. I'm Robert, the meticulous chef. He's appeared in many movies as well, including My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, and will be returning for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. Michael Constantine played Gus Portokolos, Tula's loving and out there father, and he gave us some of the film's best one-liners. Why? Why you want to leave me? As well as getting plenty of laughs with his unmatched comedic timing. Okay, may I please date your daughter? No! Constantine was already a very established actor who'd had a full and successful career by the time he took on the role of Gus. He was in his 70s in My Big Fat Greek Wedding. He still returned for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 and My Big Fat Greek Life, probably because of how much he enjoyed working on the original movie. Really no joke, and this is, you know, not show business stuff. I love every person in this film. Michael Constantine sadly passed away in 2021 at the age of 94. While he will certainly be sorely missed in the third installment, the sequel will be dedicated to his memory. Like her on-screen hubby, Lainey Kazan also had a long and impressive career before joining the cast of My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Kazan played Maria Portocolos. I am Maria Portocolos, and welcome, welcome to our home. And in addition to the many roles she took on before, she has also since made many TV appearances in series like Grey's Anatomy, Modern Family, It Came Back, Not Possible, and Desperate Housewives. Oh, yeah, yeah, the money. <laughs> she too loved being a part of this hilarious cast. We became instant friends, yeah. the whole cast. And we've had a, an incredible 12-year relationship yeah. as friends. 
As a result, she returned for my big fat Greek life and my big fat Greek wedding too. And boy, was it nice to be back. My God, it was like, oh my God, I've come home. In fact, Kazan had a little to do with the sequel happening. She'd been trying to convince her on-screen daughter to make it happen. Why did it take 14 years? Why did it take so long for a movie that was- she didn't listen to me. Kazan has quite a few upcoming projects, including, of course, my big fat Greek wedding three. Now, Andrea Martin is another actor who delivered quite a few of my big fret Greek wedding's most iconic moments. He doesn't eat meat. What do you mean he don't eat no meat? That's okay, I make lamb. Come. Yes, Martin made quite a splash as Aunt Vula, but you may have recognized her voice from somewhere else. Of course. She's had a full career appearing on children's shows, including Sesame Street, SpongeBob SquarePants, Kim Possible. He's turned out to be a fantastic big brother. And Jimmy Neutron. That said, you may know her voice, even if you didn't realize it was her. She sounds pretty different in many of her roles, like Miss Fowl and Jimmy Neutron. Today was wonderful. I'm a free spirit. Aside from her voice acting work, she's also been a series regular in Great News. Good. God! And difficult people. And you have to laugh. <laughs> as well as appearing in many films like The Producers and How to Eat Fried Worms. She returned for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 and My Big Fat Greek Life, and she loves getting the gang back together. Well, I think it's a miracle when something like that happens. I don't think you can fake that kind of genuine enthusiasm. She's currently playing Sister Andrea in Evil and is returning for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. I will be your favorite. Joey Fatone played Angelo, but before making this foray into acting, he was best known for being a member of NSYNC. He's also acted as producer and appeared on many TV series, such as Hannah Montana and How I Met Your Father, frequently playing himself. Well, can't wait to hang back in you days. He returned for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 and My Big Fat Greek Life. It's exciting to see, you know, as far as characters kind of grow and what their arc is and what, what happens. And he will also be returning for number three. Jerry Mendocino played Uncle Taki, and he's since appeared in many movies like Hairspray and Lucky Number 11, TV series like Degrassi and The Bridge, and voiced characters in numerous video games, as well as return for my big fat Greek wedding, too. He has quite a few upcoming projects, including the third installment. Gia Caridis famously played cousin Nikki. Angela, bite. She's been in many movies and TV series since, most notably, Big Little Lies and the Twin Peaks reboot. She returned for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 and My Big Fat Greek Life. She'll be in the third installment. Now, Stravrula played Athena. She's appeared in a few episodes of various TV series, but is best known for My Big Fat Greek Wedding. She returned for number two and My Big Fat Greek Life, and she'll be in number three as well. The two kinds of people, Greeks, and everybody else who wished they was Greek. The way we see it, there are two kinds of people. People who can't wait to see My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3, and people who didn't see the first two. We know which kind you are, so what are you hoping to see happen in the third movie? Which character are you most looking forward to seeing again? Let us know in the comments, and for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to The Things.